Thanks, Dusty. Officials announced the Sherman Minton Bridge closure last week after noticing the bearing and pier needed repairs. Now drivers have to reroute to I-265 and I-65. Wave News reporter Marissa Burke spoke to a New Albany business about how the bridge closure is affecting them. For three years, the Sugar Shop in New Albany's served over 100 different treats and goodies. But now with the Sherman Minton Bridge closed, the bulk of their issues aren't sweet. A sweet sight for downtown New Albany. Since 2020, Sugar Shop's handmade chocolates and goodies would put a smile on anybody's face, including Torian Eves, Sugar Shop's newest employee. Saturday's Eve's first day, and it would be sweeter if the Sherman Minton Bridge wasn't closed. I'm about maybe three to four minutes away right off the bridge since you got to 64, like right off the Sherman Minton Bridge, which has become a bit of an inconvenience because now that it's shut down indefinitely, it takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to get here driving through Jeffersonville. Customers and commuters like Eve's have to detour and take I-65 or I-265 to get to the sugar shop. Between gas prices and toll fees, getting to work or satisfying one sweet tooth is going to cost. If you're working, you know, a 40 hour a week after so many trips, that's going to be, God knows how much, maybe 20, 30 extra bucks. And you add on gas, it's just, it's nothing but an inconvenience at this point, to be honest. Businesses like the Sugar Shop rely on foot traffic and repeat customers. A good sales day on the weekend is about $2,000, but some days they don't come close. There's no sugar coating it. The Sugar Shop can't catch a break. I think that we're just hoping for a day that we finally have normalcy because we opened during COVID. And so there was COVID and then the bridge and then downtown construction. So we have never had a sense of normalcy at all. Once the Sherman Minton Bridge reopens, the hope is that traffic will be sweeter for everyone. Officials with the Sherman Minton Renewal Project are supposed to release a detailed repair schedule Monday. That's when we should also learn when traffic will be restored on I-64. Marissa Burke, Wave News.